I'd like to go through the beginning of the 3.1 lesson, and that is all about KP and KC and how can we go back and forth. Now, uh, this equation here, this is actually given on the AP test, since you'll find it on your equation sheet, and we have to go through and make sure we understand what it is and where it came from. So if we have an equation, like just for an example, uh, you know, A turns into B, and this is very generic, so AA and BB, uh, those are the coefficients. We can write the equilibrium constant expression, just like we always have, KEQ, products over reactants raised to the power of their coefficients. So if we do that in terms of concentrations, then we call that KC, and we can see what it is. It's the concentration of B raised to the B power over the concentration of A raised to the A power, and that is the equilibrium constant, KC. Now the idea is we can also do that in terms of partial pressures. So in this case, we can talk about the partial pressure of B divided by the partial pressure of A. Okay, and again, it's raised to the, uh, the, the coefficients B and A. So it looks exactly the same as we have the other guy uh, with the KC. It's just we're doing partial pressures. Now, we want to be able to go back and forth between one and the other because they don't necessarily have the same value. So the KP and the KC are just as useful you know, if it's much greater than one, you know it's product favored. If it's much less than one, you know it's reactant favored. But the values are going to be different, and the units are going to be different. These will uh, be done in atmospheres, and these would be done in molarities. So the start of this is our old friend PV equals NRT. So if we have PV equals NRT, we can solve for P, and so P is equal to NRT over V. Now we're going to smoosh this just a little bit, and we're going to say P equals NRT over V. Look at it like this, because this is moles, N is moles, and V is volume in liters, and moles per liter, we know that that's concentration. So what we're really saying is that the pressure is equal to the concentration times R times T. Now we're going to go back and use that in our uh, KP. And we're going to say, well, if the top here is the pressure of B, then the way we do that is if we make that pressure of B, then that's going to be equal to the concentration of B times R times T. So let's just go ahead and do some substituting. So uh, KP is equal to the concentration of B raised to the B power times R times T raised to the B power. And we do the same thing for the constant for the partial pressure of A. Then the partial pressure of A is the concentration of A raised to the A power times R times T raised to the A power. So when we get done, we get this expression down here. And we can see that this portion of it is really our K sub C. Okay, that's the concentration of B raised to the B power over the concentration of A raised to the A power. So that section right there is just the case of C. So what we can do is go back and say that KP is equal to the concentra the KC, the expression of concentrations, RT to the B power over RT to the A power. And we would do that if we're going to divide, we just subtract our uh, exponents. So we end up with KP is equal to KC times RT to the B minus A power. Now what that B minus A power really is, if we go back to our original equation, that's this guy minus this guy. And what that is, is the moles of our product, okay, minus the moles of our reactant. Okay, so that's the change in moles, and so we're going to call that delta N. So we just take the moles over here, moles over here, and if there were a lot of moles, we add them all together, a lot of moles, add them all together. So it's just how the moles have changed. So if we go back here, here's our equation. And our equation then is that KP is equal to the KC value times RT to the delta N. Delta N is moles of the products minus moles of the gaseous reactants. And we just do this with gaseous uh, equations. So it's going to be moles of product minus moles of reactant. Uh, R is our old friend, you know, 0 0.08206 liter atmospheres per mole Kelvin. And that's how we can go from Kc to Kp, or vice versa. Now let's see how that actually works. Okay, so uh, here's our little expression up here just for notes. 
So example, if we had a reaction like two NO2s turn into N2O4, then here's our clue. It says a 1.2 uh, atmosphere sample of NO2, okay, is placed into an empty container at 300 Kelvin. After equilibrium is established, the total pressure is one atmosphere. So the first thing we do is figure out, well, what are our equilibrium values? We're going to throw them in and get our equilibrium expression and calculate a value for that. So that means we need to do an icebox problem. Okay, before we do that, let's do a couple of quick things. Um, what is delta N? So moles of our product minus moles of our reactant. So here we have a 1, here we have a 2. So this is a 1 minus 2. So the delta N is negative 1, negative 1 moles. And we'll come back and see that later. Okay, let's go. Here we have a problem. Let's recopy the equation because what I want to do is to do a uh, ice box. Now, a lot of times when we do ice boxes, we do those with molarities. We can also do it with moles, but it turns out we can also do this with atmospheres, you know, because the uh, in a gaseous system, everything's going to be in the same size container. You know, it's all together, and so the more pressure it has, the more moles it must be, so they're proportional. So this works, this ice box works with pressures as well. And it says we start off with a 1.2 sample, 1.2 atmospheres of the NO2, and none of our N2O4. So what's going to happen is we are going to make some N2O4, so let's say we're going to make X amount, so we're going to end up with X, and this is a 1 to 2 ratio, so we must be using up 2x. So at equilibrium, we're going to have 1.2 minus 2x. Now, the second little fact we have over here is that the total pressure in the container, when it reaches equilibrium, is 1 atmosphere. So that means we can do a little equation. We're going to say 1.2 minus 2x plus x is equal to 1 atmosphere. So that means we can put these two here together. What's going to happen? Minus 2x plus x, that's going to be minus 1x. So I'm going to start back over here and say so 1.2 minus x equals 1.0. 1.2 minus x equals 1.0, so obviously x here must equal 0.2 atmospheres. So that means as far as our values, okay, this is equal to 0.2. This is 1.2 minus 2x, so that's going to be 0.8 atmospheres. So now we want to go back and we want to write our equilibrium constant expression, the Kp, calculate its value. We have values to substitute in, so let's do it. So Kp is equal to the partial pressure of N2O4, our products, divided by the partial pressure of NO2, the reactants, squared. So that is going to be 0.2 atmospheres over 0.8 atmospheres squared. For that I get a value of 0 0.3125 and if somebody asks for the units it would be atmospheres to the minus one but we usually don't ask for the units. So 0 0.03125, um, we're only working two significant figures, so we might want to call that uh, 0 0.31. Okay, find the Kc for this. Well, the Kc, we want to go back and use our uh, equation here. So what do we know? We know we want the Kc, we know the Kp, we know R, we know T, because that's 300, and we know delta N. So let's set it up, and then we're going to solve. So to rewrite our equation, we know that Kp is equal to Kc RT delta N. Now we know that the Kp is 0 0.31 is equal to the Kc times RT, which is 0 0.08206, that's liter atmospheres per mole Kelvin, times uh, T, okay, which is 300 Kelvin, raised to the power of negative 1, because we figured out our delta is negative 1, 
and now we just have to solve this whole thing. So we can kind of see what's going to happen is that this is negative 1, so that's the same thing as divided by. So just for myself, I'm going to rewrite this is equal to kc over, okay, 0 0.08206 times 300. Okay, so to the negative 1, I mean it's on the bottom. And I want to solve for kc, so obviously my kc, I'm going to multiply, so 0 0.31 times 0 0.08206 times 300. And I'm just going to trust that all my um, yeah, units have canceled out because this is liter atmospheres per mole Kelvin, and this has got some atmospheres, and that's Kelvin. Okay, so I'm going to get uh, my answer. KCs don't have units anyway. And the answer I get for this is 7.693. Okay, which I'm going to round off to two significant figures, call it 7.7. .7. That's my KC. So my KC is 7.7, .7. my KP is 0 0.31, and that's how we go back and forth between KPs and KCs.